My name is Taylor Schenberger, and I love to smile now, and I am ready to bite into a sandwich. <laughs> I first started having issues with my jaw when I was very young, um, at least four years old, so I've always had an open bite. I had uh, braces put on to potentially help the problem when I was probably about 10 years old, and then uh, again right after that, so I got my second pair of braces off when I was about 13. And unfortunately, it didn't do much to really help my open bite. It straightened the teeth out, but um, I still had a pretty good gap between um, my, my front uh, or my uh, top and bottom jaw. I was told that I would have to have surgery at that point to ever fix it and that I would have to wait until I was at least 18 years old to even consider surgery. Unfortunately, can, my jaw continued to get worse and I went to a new dentist about three years ago or so and the dentist said to me um, that my two back molars were really worn down. I waited another six months, went back again to the same dentist in six months and he said, no, really. You should really think about getting this fixed. Uh, there's this great orthodontist that you can talk to and he works on cases like yours. People who have always been told that they will have to get surgery, um, he's, he's able to do it without surgery. Hello, I'm Dr. Yun Chang at uh, Elaine Orthodontics in North Dallas, Texas. Most orthodontists and physicians believe that our jaws are static in nature with little to no capacity to adapt. Therefore, in the presence of a craniofacial skeletal disharmony such as underbite, excessive uh, overbite, uh, mandibular lateral deviation, and open bite, it is the norm to hear orthodontic jaw surgery as a treatment of choice. However, it's been proven that our jaws are not static even after growth has ceased. And contrary to the conventional wisdom, our jaws are very responsive to the environment. For example, in an individual with open bite, it is common to find a shorter um, height on the mandible, which produces a backward rotation of the jaw and uh, in turn producing an open bite. And this will not only affect the facial morphology from uh, achieving a full genetic potential, but also affects all aspects of the masticatory organ functions. I realized that I did have a lot of fatigue in my jaw and that it wasn't normal. Uh, I wasn't opening my jaw all the way. I thought it was and then they pointed out that it was very limited. Um, I remember marking down X's on a questionnaire where I felt pain on a regular basis and I was getting like headaches that would come up seemingly from my neck or from my jaw and like spreading. Um, I had neck pain. I think I marked lower back pain. So Dr. Chang was one of the first people to say like you don't have to live with this and we can do something about it. So I pulled the trigger right away. I think I had dragged my feet for so long before that and lived with it for so long that when I finally found a solution I was ready to hop in and do it. Through craniomandibular orthodontics using multi-loop H-wise arch wire and gum metal uh, H-wise arch wire orthodontic technique, it is possible to move teeth beyond the limits of a traditional or conventional straight wire orthotic. Once uh, the upper arch is widened and uh, is widened to fit the lower arch, we can move the lower molars down or sink into the bone. That will free the mandible to move forward and up, creating not only closure of the open bite, but also um, a drastic change in the facial morphology as well as the functions related to the masticatory organ. Before having orthodontics, craniomandibular orthodontic treatment and after having the uh, treatment done. A drastic improvement on the profile, the lower jaw not only moved forward but went up. I was living a pretty sedentary lifestyle and the braces had helped with some of the pain in my facial area. Um, for instance, I would get really sore right here. And um, I don't even know if it was six months into the process and that was completely gone. So I was like, let's keep improving. Let's work on you know, my, my overall spine, my overall alignment. And I did 
posture therapy and that only continued to add to how, how much better I felt. Did chiropractic care, got regular adjustments to the point where now I really don't have any of the same pain that I felt before. I feel like a completely different person than who I was when I first came here. I can actually bite into pizza now, I can eat sandwiches now, and I actually just got my saxophone tuned up, but I haven't played it for like eight years. I just took a job where I'll be speaking a lot and teaching again, and it's the first time I've done that since I got braces on. So I'm really looking forward to being able to, to talk to high schoolers all day. Braces is not an easy journey and there are challenges, but it was worth every penny that I spent, every moment I spent in the office, and every moment I spent cleaning out my braces, it was worth it. If you're ready to eat pizza again or bite into a sandwich without pain, without embarrassment, come see Dr. Chang.